So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to tell you something about the subsistence strategies uh, of the LBK site at Jadovice in South Moravia. Uh, so this is the, this, there are some basic points of my presentation. Uh, first of all, I will speak about the state of subsistence strategy research in Moravia. Uh, and then I will introduce you the, the site, the Jadovice. Uh, what to tell about the research of a subsistence strategy in Moravia? It's quite difficult to say something because I think that the state of research in Moravia is quite bad now. Um, in Moravian archaeology, uh, the researchers are mostly focused on uh, uh, the animal bones. Uh, when they are speaking about subsistence strategy in some site, on, at some site, they are just mentioned the uh, animal bones and that's all. And of course we know that the subsistence strategy uh, includes uh, uh, really more and more, more things, uh, as I mentioned above, like uh, find a place to settle the food, water sources, clothes and other things to, to, make, to prove the adaptability on natural conditions on some concrete space. Uh, one of the newest um, studies which deals with subsistence strategy in Moravia is a uh, PhD thesis of my colleague uh, Ivana Vostrovska. Uh, there is a more comprehensive uh, point of view of subsistence strategies on the side uh, which Peter mentioned, the uh, Tešetice Kijovice, but uh, we have a lack of the similar studies for now. Uh, some reasons why I have chosen the site Žádovice. Um, it's one of the biggest sites in Moravia which have uh, well excavated uh, settlement and it's the one of the biggest sites of the 1B phase. It's uh, the second, the second uh, phase of the LB cake altar in Moravia. Uh, it's not the, the oldest but it's the second. Uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages of this site. Uh, well, it was a rescue excavation and in, it was taking place in, during the 80s, I, I remember. Uh, they have a short time to excavate the, the huge area, as you see on the picture. And uh, in that case, some important information are missing. Uh, and what is uh, another disadvantage is uh, that the Žádovice is a polycultural site, as you can see. Oh, uh, the yellow, yellow ones is a uh, Belbica culture, and uh, the orange is uh, some another analytic uh, uh, pits. So uh, some some pits are had. had uh, really mixed mixed uh, artifacts. Uh, what is the advantage of, uh, of, this, of this site? Uh, that the colleagues in the 80s, while the rescue excavation, uh, did quite good documentation. So uh, I have uh, quite good uh, drawings of the pits and uh, word description and also at this site was a huge amount of uh, artifacts found. Uh, that's the location of Žadovice site. Uh, as you can see, it's, the, it's here in the south, eastern south uh, of uh, Moravia, near the Morava River. Uh, there is a more close picture. Uh, as you can see here, here is the site. Um, uh, it's let's say it's quite a strategic uh, location because they have a good good view to to do volley of uh, of the Moravia and the other rivers and they were protected uh, with the uh, Hribi mountains from from their back so they could control the the surrounding area I think very well. Uh, there is some regional situation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, almost no sites are here to be compared to Žadovice. 
because uh, we have some we have some sites, of course, but they were not uh, uh, they hadn't been analyzed yet. So uh, I don't have really really some space to to put the put the site of Jadovica in some regional net network or something because there is nothing to be compared to to the site. Uh, I will speak about housing now. Uh, as you can see on the plan of the of the site, we have here uh, five houses, but uh, uh, mm, ah, sorry, um, but only one of them was uh, preserved as a complete ground plan, and it's it's here. Um, except the houses, we have uh, fireplaces here, and. Uh, what is quite strange about LBK uh, settl settlement or site, there were, there were no kilns and no storage pits. Oh, well, the, the kilns are always uh, situated in the marginal area of the site, so maybe they have not been discovered during the excavation. They could be situated somewhere, somewhere here or something. Uh, there is the the one of uh, one ground plan of the house, the one which was uh, uh, complete. Uh, as you can see, the, this pit, this is the fireplace, and as you can see, is the typical ground plan for LBK culture. Yeah, that's the fireplace. Okay. Uh, uh, there was some anthropological material preserved here. Uh, as you can see here, there were uh, buried individuals. It was uh, ten, 10 people, nine children and one adult in six pits. And um, uh, first of all, I was uh, trying to study the subsistence strategy. Uh, I would like to analyze Put the, put the material to analysis of the stable isotopes for the, for the uh, carbon and nitrogen. Uh, while I was trying to manage the analysis, I put them together to, with uh, AMS dating. But uh, uh, the anthropological material showed uh, bad collagen, collagen, collagen collagen values, so um, it looks like that the anthropological material is uh, quite un unsuitable for analysis, which is quite pity. But in, in spite of this, some dating was success successful. Uh, yes, you can see there are some samples of the bones. They are quite in terrible condition because they are children, so they, they are not preserved well. And here are the results of the of the radiocarbon dating. Uh, as you can see, the green green values here are quite normal, quite standard for LBK culture. But as you can see, the orange orange um, orange values, uh, you can see that they are quite old for for the LBK. Uh, maybe we can say it's quite a maybe mesolithic for the for the uh, Moravian era. So I was wondering why, why is that, that on the LBK side I have the Mesolithic people. And uh, I've tried to put another analyze of uh, radiocarbon and uh, as you can see here uh, with the, the Duboreal in uh, pit number 142, uh, I tried to analyze uh, animal bones because uh, I I would recommended that it would be better to to uh, deal with uh, the phenomenon of uh, reservoir effect. It could be uh, the cause of the old old dates. So as you can see. Um, while I tried to date uh, animal bones, they, they show the standard values for LB, LBK. 
standard time. So uh, in that in that grave, maybe the reser reservoir effect is is really is really presented here. But uh, about the grave of an adult woman, uh, she, she had no no bones in her in her grave goods. So I really can't uh, verify the the old date. Um, here you can see the, the result of a, of a dating, of AMS dating radiocarbon of the other woman. And below uh, here is the values of the stable isotopes of her. So um, as you can see, as I mentioned before, I tried to, to date the ruminant, which I think that the that the ruminants didn't eat some meat or something which could cause the, the reservoir effect. Okay. So what to what to talk about what to say about the food in this site? Uh, after anthropological analysis, uh, it was some basic analysis which were made in early 90s. So maybe there could be some uh, maybe new new points of view on this, but my anthropologist didn't want to do this. Uh, never mind. Uh, the children had uh, abraded teeth and uh, they they suffer from anemia. And what is more, uh, on the side there is uh, quite a huge amount of uh, grinding tools. Uh, as you can see some examples in the, in the right. So uh, it could be that uh, People here mainly have the plant diet, uh, but as as I mentioned before, uh, there is some there is some uh, presence of reservoir effect maybe, and uh, in addition, there is a huge amount of animal bones on the site, about five five thousand fragments, and these are fragments of all body parts. Uh, but the animal bones are still under the analyze, so I really can't tell you about the species or sex or age of the animals for now. Uh, but what I what I ba have the basic look on the uh, osteological material of animal bones. Uh, there are almost no none of uh, bone tools and no shard shared bones, so. Why, why they have a lot of animals here? Or if they eat them, or <laughs> what did they did in here? So that's that's the question. I think that it's the typical example when you have the results and you have more questions than than the answers. So to conclude, uh, what I should do next with this site? Uh, I would like to try to try to gain more data of radiocarbon dating to verify the chronology and to prove the presence of the reservoir effect and uh, gain the results of a bone animal, animal bones uh, analysis. And there is some special uh, distribution of the, of the animal bones. Uh, as you can see, they are spread of all the space of, of, the, of the site. So there is nothing special about it. Or maybe I should try another method. So maybe in discussion slot, you will give me some advice what I should, what I should do next. There is some, some bibliography. And thank you for your attention.